Okay, gentlemen, let me just start off by addressing the elephant in the room. Let's all try to be adults about this. Last night, I invited this young Vietnamese prostitute to my room to engage in some consensual fun. Terms were set, things were going smoothly, and then I caught her trying to steal my wallet. Yes, you did! Yes, you did. So, when I threatened to call the authorities, she swallowed the handcuff keys. Now, normally, I am not one to flaunt my indiscretions or put you good people in an awkward situation. But as CEO of this corporation, it is my duty to put responsibility ahead of personal interest. And let me tell you that neither hell, nor high water, nor some cracked out Asian whore is gonna keep me from seeing this merger through. Okay. Johnson, got your head in the clouds? What? Come on, let's focus. Focus on what, sir? The contracts! Ah. Johnson's head's in the clouds. He's probably thinking about his golf game last weekend. <laughs> um, let's see. These all look above board. Jerry, you know when the uh, Bergman Sachs people are going to be over to add their signatures? You know, we could do this whole... After everything. When you're ready. What do you mean? Well, I mean... Wait, are you talking about the whore? Yeah. Come on, Jerry. I expected more from you. Maybe you need to go home for the day. Get your head in the game. Sir. I mean it. I brought my A game today. I need you people to be laser sharp for this thing. Now let's... That's just her pimp. Never mind. Now, let me look at this thing. This all looks pretty good, but I had a brainstorm on the way over here today. Yeah. And I was thinking if we could shave 3% off of Bergman Sachs on the franchise rights, hey, hey. we may just be able to... Yeah, well, I bet she didn't tell you that she took my wallet. <laughs> now, I think we could probably get 10% off the back end in the first year. Now, Williams, what do you think? Think Bergman Sachs will bite on this? Um, sir? Can I ask what's going on? Um, he's angry at her because he doesn't think that she was going to cut him in on the take, which is probably... Look, now you've got me doing it. I'm serious, people. Pay attention. We need to focus here, all right? It's just a pimp stabbing his trick. It happens all the time. Not worth, but the same. But I didn't do it 
right. And now they feel, oh, I don't know, 6,000 times worse. Oh, 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 Dude, oh, come on. Oh, no, no, no. It has taken me years to get to this point. Years of practice. Blah. You guys are jerks for even letting me attempt to do something like that. I will never, 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 ever, never, ever, never, ever. Man, I never, hate Mr. McGillicuddy. I think I really quit this time. Never, nah, never, he'll be back. Never, ever, never. two of the earthquake, 46 hours in, and there's still no end in sight. Seismologists are stumped, geologists baffled, and astronauts were not even asked about it. We go now, look at, holy Jesus! We go now to Stacy Lady News, who's out on the street. Stacy. Thanks, Jim. I'm gonna hold you to that. As you can see, looting has begun down here at the Fashion Center Mall, and one local dog is not too happy about it. That's Wendell and his owners run the Huggins Family Appliance Store down here at the shopping center. They've lost over 90% of their inventory over the past two days. But one thing's for sure, many shop owners are asking themselves, where is their super dog now? Where indeed, Stacy. In fact, if super dog is out there listening, I'd like to say on behalf of us all, here, boy, here. Turning down to international news. Oh, fucking shit! Extra, extra! Local newsman suspended for cursing on air! Read all about it! This is indecency in trial starts today! Read about it! Now, Mr. Jim Ladoff, would you mind telling the fine folks of this jury what was so important that you felt you had to say it on the public airwaves? Go ahead. Fucking shit. Effing S. And Mr. Ladoff, why would you feel it necessary to say effing S on television? Well, the goddamn fucking light hit me in the head. <gasps> oh, fudgy stuff. Well, this isn't looking good. It's true, it has stopped. Hear ye, hear ye, this calls for a celebration. I declare, sodas for everybody. Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! <laughs> It's hard to go to work with a boner. It's hard to drive a car with a boner. It's hard to mow the lawn with a boner. It's hard to go to sleep with a boner. It's weird to pet your cat with a boner. It's weird to hug your mom with a boner. It's weird to host Thanksgiving with a boner. Never trim your hedges 
Come on. Come on. Hey, Daryl. What's shaking? Well, Chester, I've been trying to artificially inseminate old Laney Sue down there. This purebred I got from Scarsboro. Just can't seem to get him excited, if you know what I mean. You mean like a horsey boner? Yep. Damn, Buck just doesn't seem interested. Well, have you tried showing him a picture of a stegosaurus yet? Now, why in the hell would I want to do that? Because horses love stegosauruses. Really? Yeah. I keep this picture on me at all times. I use it on all my stallions. Whoa! Oh! OK, that's enough. Hey, pull the poster down. Woo! Pull the poster down, man. Seems to me that that horse ain't seen a stegosaurus for quite some time. Get me another bucket, Chester. Help! <laughs> I'm trying to drive the car. I'm just so excited we're finally seeing this movie. I've been waiting so long. What, to see the most loveliest bride? Yes, the most loveliest bride. What's wrong with that? Well, you didn't even know about the most loveliest bride until last week. I don't care. And you need to hurry, because we're going to be late for the most loveliest bride. I'm going as fast as I can. The roads are really bad tonight. You need to hurry up, because we got to see the most loveliest bride. I'm going as fast as I can, we Candace. We need to see the most loveliest Candace, I'm going as fast We're as I can. Candace, stop it. Candace, I'm, stop it. I'm, Candace, I'm trying, trying to drive the car. Sir, you wanted to see me? Yes, Trumeter. Come on in. So, what's up? Nothing. Just uh, noticed that you've got quite a black eye there. Yeah, I missed a pop fly at softball this weekend. It was pretty dumb. Playing softball, huh? Yeah. OK. What's the real scoop? Sir? Where'd you get the shiner? I really got it from softball. Are you sure you didn't get it at a fight club? Sir? Just so you know. I'm cool. OK. What? Where'd you get the black eye? I got it from softball. <laughs> Methinks. I am Jack's lying to his boss. What? Trumeter, I know what's going on here, OK? I was a young, fresh-faced intern just like yourself when that movie came out. 
Fight Club. I wanted to join one so bad, but I could never figure out where they took place. So I just want you to know, I'm cool. Mr. Timmy, I do not belong to a fight club. Shh, 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 shh. I know. The first rule of fight club is. Sir. Trumeter, I know you started a fight club, and I want in. I really don't know how else to tell you this, but. I want in or you're fired. Okay. Hey, first of all, can I thank all you guys for doing this for me? It's a real big favor, right? I also want to thank Bill for letting us use the basement of his sub shop. It's really cool of you, man. Not a problem, dude. All right, well, let's go over some of the rules. First rule of Fight Club is when my boss shows up, try and act like we've been doing this for a while, okay? Second rule of Fight Club is do not fuck with any of the cups or the condiments down here, okay? Thanks, man. Third rule of Fight Club is that... Hey everyone, this is my boss. What's up guys? Huh? How's it going? What's up, Truminer? Even the Mona Lisa's falling apart. <laughs> okay. So, who wants to fight my boss? Dude. <laughs> All right! <laughs> I want to destroy something beautiful, you know? I can't breathe! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Oh, my God! Truvener, thank you so much for inviting me to the you-know-what. I've had the best night of my life! Yeah, didn't you park back there? Hey, can I ask you something crazy? <sighs> yeah. Do you think we're the same person? God, I hope not. How is that gay? It's just gay. It is so not gay. It is so gay. Look, it's not gay. I just said it would be cool if I had a girlfriend who had balls. And that's why it's gay. No, 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 she's a chick. It's not like she has a dick or anything. She just has balls. That's gay. I mean like testicles. I know. How can you not think that's like the hottest thing ever? Uh, because I'm straight? Me too. I'm talking about a chick. With dude genitalia. With dude genitalia. That's gay. You are crazy. Guys, Brian said that you have to keep it down in here. Oh, good. Zach's here. OK, Zach, you tell me when this gets gay. OK. So I'm hooking up with this smoking hot chick. Sure. She looks like a female version of George Clooney. That's a little gay. Hold on. So we're making out on the mouth. One, 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 one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then I'm touching her boobs. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Then I'm grabbing her butt cheeks. Fine. All right. Then I'm playing around with her sweet vagina. Sure. Then I'm wiping my wiener on her balls. Gay. What? Are you listening to one word that I'm saying? What about that is remotely gay? The balls. They're stuck to a chick. You know, maybe what's confusing you guys is that you think I'm talking about a dick. Nope. Because I could see where that would be gay. Right. But I'm not talking about a dick. I'm talking about good old fashioned, perfectly round, lightly misted, wood chipped fragrance, awesome balls. Can we get the check, please? I'm going to go slow, all right? And you both just be completely honest with me. Haven't you both always wanted for girls to have balls? No. Uh, OK. All right. It's just me. It's just me. Yeah, dude, it's totally just you. I'm the crazy one here. I'm just crazy. You know what? Stop the car. Stop the car. No. OK, peep this. I drew a little diagram last night that should help you guys out with your little misunderstanding. So try. Just try and tell me that this is gay. Unbelievably. That's it, you're both fired. I don't even care. 
It's not gay? Too little, too late. Get out. Okay. All right, everybody, back to work. We have till next Friday to think up four new popcorn flavors. That's right. You've been watching the Popcorn Factory Sketch. Look for it online by name as the Popcorn Factory Sketch. Do, 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 do